Although a little late in the season, I have to admit, it's still not too late to improve the efficiency of your windows. And if you don't want to bother this year, put it on the to-do list for next. Oh, hello. Can't get any privacy anywhere. I am just asked, Bob, welcome to our job site. No, I didn't just get out of the shower. This is a tool of the trade today. We're sealing a drafty window. And I want to say a big thank you to my wife, Rosemary, for lending me her hair dryer. What we have today, drafty window. We have two products here to show you. Well, they're similar products. Good and better, or sorry, good and better this way. And these are both uh, typical films that you put on with two-way tape. You heat it up with the hair dryer and it sort of shrink wraps its way around the window to stop drafts. This is a normal one. What I like about this one is crystal clear, 40% thicker film. So when you're going to spend your money, especially if you're doing a lot of windows, end up anywhere between $10 to $15 a window when you add it up when the day's set and done. But if you're going to spend your labor, if you're going to spend your time, I highly recommend go with the thicker product. Now both of these products, this is the beginning. You want to clean the window frame, in this case the casing. You want to clean it with either mineral spirits or rubbing alcohol. Then you want to apply the two-way tape, which we've done already, and now we're going to take it from here. Once the two-way tape is on, and again you want to make sure that it's on very tight, you're going to pull off the one layer. Now we've got it tacky. We've pre-cut the sheet here. Depending what package, what brand you purchase, this particular one gives you enough to do four windows. Now the trick is not to get a mess out of this. So if you're good at wrapping Christmas presents, you should be good at this. So we're gonna get it on here. Get it pushed on. Oh, we've got double the width here. So you wanna get it on. You want to push, continue all the way around the perimeter, very important to press it in place before pulling out the hair dryer. You want to go behind any obstructions. Once you have it on nice and tight, after it's been shrunk in place, we're going to cut the excess. Now let's put the hair dryer to work. You want to have a nice high setting, stay about three to four inches away because it is plastic. You don't want to burn it. So Mark, if you want to zoom in here, you can see the difference here to here. All the wrinkles and here it's tightening up. So you want to keep it going, keep it heated up. Now this will take some time, but I can feel it. it is starting to tighten up. Then you're going to take your knife and you're going to do a cut all around the perimeter, all four sides. Now you can pull this off easily as soon as the weather's better and the snow's behind us. I am Just Ask Bob, the man with the hair dryer. Thank you so much for watching. Tune into our segments every Monday starting at 530. Thank you, Hamilton.